Hello everyone, welcome again to Bayabarika Talks. This is the episode number eight. Last episode was um, uh, with Dr. Andreas Grosgo. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it and saw it and shared it. Uh, now we have the um, um, pleasure to uh, have here as a new guest, Dr. Mijan Karimi from Albania. Dr. Mijan, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you Fabrizio. Thank you for the invitation. Good. So, uh, Mirjam, um, of course, let's talk about uh, Bariobarica Albania. What is Bariobarica Albania and what, what means to you and how does it connect with your professional practice so far? Uh, so, Fabrizio, uh, Bariobarica Albania is a project, it's a good project for us because since we incorporated this technology uh, in our clinic, it makes our work easy. Normally has been a, a very, very good investment for me because it has raised up my experience with uh, all the treatment that BioBiker offers and uh, uh, has, has, has made a, a good mix of our uh, work as physiotherapist and uh, with uh, hyperbaric medicine. So uh, in my experience so far it has been very good because we also are treating Patients uh, with physiotherapy and patients also with hyperbaric. Good. Actually, it was my um, my second my second question for you. So, what motivated um, you to build an elite center focused specifically on hyperbaric therapy? And I know your I mean your specialty your area is more related to sports medicine rehabilitation. So, do you plan to expand uh, the the, uh, the target of attention to other specialty? Yes, of course. Since we incorporated the, the hyperbaric medicine in Duros, in my city there where I live, uh, the great impact that this technology had there uh, uh, intended us to expose this, this treatment and also in capital city in Tirana, which uh, is giving a very good impact also in, uh, uh, and here because uh, uh, this treatment is not not very known in our country and uh, not a lot of people know it it benefit so so far it has been very good and uh, we are uh, uh, we are targeting to expand this this project further to raise up and two hyperbaric room here in capital city and also one there in our city in Duros. good good that's a, that's a good news so um so you told me um, that you already treated and you have you're having good results so far. Even that is pretty new the center I know, and I and actually saw the videos. It's a super nice center. I, I have to 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 congratulate you about this because it's a very very nice place. Mm -hmm. And um, so uh, regarding this, the results. Um, what 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 uh, results have you have you been getting so far? Something that you got kind of impressed about the the result of of. Uh, any pathology or condition? Uh, I have been impressed in all pathology that I have been treating with 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 biobarica with revitalia. Mm. Uh, the the good thing is that we see a good improvement in the pain, in decreasing of the pain, especially in in pathology that I treat as a physiotherapist with lumbar G pain, with back pain, with. Uh, with pathology of articulations, with artery, uh, those who are difficult, uh, difficult pathologies to treat with physiotherapy and normally has a slow progress, progress in treating with physiotherapy. Incorporating this technology, it has made our, our work easier because uh, the patients are happy and we see this, we see this because the patients love, love it, they see uh, uh, how fast is this, this, uh, this equipment changing their uh, their, their, their problems and uh, normally this is uh, very good for us and we are enjoying this, uh, this treatment every day and we are seeing a lot of benefits every day from it. Actually, it's very common that when, when I interview different colleagues or different professionals as you, we always talk about patients because of course it's the main, um, um, main character of, of this yes. uh, 
the therapy. But what about the, the, the colleagues? I mean, the other professional. I know you're, you're, you're doing a very nice job on educating the, the, um, the field. And um, so how is the current status of hyperbaric medicine in Albania? So how, how doctors or your colleagues are, um, I mean, are taking the, this information about the hyperbaric medicine in Albania? Uh, since we incorporated this technology, especially in my city, has sounds good in a lot of, 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 uh, of uh, departures of medicine here, because normally the doctors uh, know it's uh, all benefits of hyperbaric medicine and also uh, they have started to suggest this therapy. And also from my colleagues has been uh, very supportable uh, for, for me because uh, uh, they are seeing what we are doing with 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 biobarrier technology. What what uh, diagnosis we are treating, and we are seeing the, how fast the improvement is. So uh, it's been so good so good so far. Great, and um, I mean I know you're a good entrepreneur and um, you're kind of pioneer in your area. You're a local pioneer in hyperbarics. And uh, there are many other professional or doctors that wants to, you know, make the first steps on hyperbarics. So what would be your, your advice to these um, professionals that wants to, you know, get in touch with the therapy or maybe incorporating to your services, their practice? Um, what would be your better advice for them? Uh, my better advice would be Firstly, to be more knowledge in this technology, to read about a lot of benefits that this technology has for our health. And uh, normally knowing its benefits, it, uh, it means that uh, uh, the targeting of, of going to this hyperbaric medicine is very fast. Mm. Uh, so I would suggest to all my colleagues who want to make a good experience in uh, not only the, the part we uh, we do uh, the part of the physiotherapy, but also and all the treatment options like hyperbaric medicine. Great. So you are, are you by yourself there? I mean, as a, as a professional, you have some some partners in uh, working with you in terms of the of uh, I mean the practice. No, until now I am doing only by my my alone. Okay, great, great. So um, this is a, a common question for all our interviews and our guests and by, by Barica Talks. So if you have to define uh, the hyperbaric therapy in one word, what would be? Uh, this is the best question, yes. Uh, I would definitely, <laughs> I would definitely say not only life, like my colleagues before said, but only uh, and also it's hope. Great. Hyperbaric medicine, it's hope for all of people who still doesn't know this technology and all the, 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 the miracles benefits that, uh, that uh, this technology does to our body. So it's hope also and it's life, as our colleague said before. I love that, I love that. So I agree with you. So definitely it's hope. Um, as a health professional also, I believe that um, patient that had been, you know, like for so long trying to get results or solutions for their chronic problems or even active problems now are getting a very good and, um, and non-invasive uh, solution. So definitely, I agree with you. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Well, um, Mirjam, again, thank you so much for, for being here, for sharing with, with us um, your, your center, your experience, and I hope and uh, the, the next few days you, uh, you can uh, increase and be in growth uh, as you expect. Thank you. Thank you very much, Fabrizio. Thank you for your invitation. No, please. Thank you so much. Well, this is uh, this was the eighth episode. As I, as I uh, told you guys, I hope uh, you enjoy it. Uh, please share it, um, view it. Uh, you know, it's in our plat in all our platforms, specifically on YouTube. Um, and uh, I invite you for the next episode. It will be the, the episode number nine. Uh, thank you so much again, Mijan, and thank you guys for seeing us. <laughs>